Welcome to the interview. Let's start with some basic questions. Can you explain what Angular is? Certainly. Angular is a popular open source framework developed by Google for building web applications. It uses TypeScript, a superset of JavaScript, to create scalable and maintainable applications with a component-based architecture. Great. Can you explain the difference between AngularJS and Angular? AngularJS, also known as Angular 1, was the first version of Angular released in 2010. It uses JavaScript and follows an MVC, model view controller, architecture. On the other hand, Angular, commonly referred to as Angular 2 Plus or just Angular, is a complete rewrite of AngularJS, introduced in 2016. It utilizes TypeScript and follows a component-based architecture called Angular Components. That's a good explanation. Now, could you explain the concept of modules in Angular? In Angular, modules are used to organize and encapsulate related components, services, directives, and other building blocks of an application. They provide a way to bundle functionality together, making it easier to manage and reuse code. Angular applications typically have a root module and several feature modules that are imported and used as needed. Well explained. Moving on, what is a component in Angular? In Angular, a component is a fundamental building block that represents a part of the user interface and encapsulates its logic. It consists of three main parts, the template, which defines the structure and layout of the component, the component class, which handles the behavior and data of the component, and the metadata, which provides additional information about the component, such as its selector and dependencies. Good explanation. Now, can you explain what is data binding in Angular? Data binding is a powerful feature in Angular that allows you to establish a connection between the data in your component and the user interface. There are different types of data binding in Angular, such as interpolation, property binding, event binding, and two-way binding. These mechanisms enable you to dynamically update and synchronize data between the component and the view. Excellent. Let's move on to dependency injection. Can you explain what it is and why it's important in Angular? Dependency injection is a design pattern used in Angular to manage the dependencies between different parts of an application. It allows you to declare the dependencies of a class or component and let Angular handle the creation and injection of those dependencies. This approach promotes loose coupling, modularity, and reusability of code, making it easier to test and maintain Angular applications. Well said. Lastly, can you explain the concept of routing in Angular? Routing in Angular allows you to navigate between different views or components based on the URL. It enables the creation of single-page applications, SPAs, by mapping URLs to specific components and rendering them accordingly. Angular's router provides features like root parameters, root guards, lazy loading, and child roots, allowing you to build complex and interactive navigation structures in your application. Thank you for your detailed answers. That's all the questions I have for now. Do you have any questions for us? Yes, I do. Could you please tell me more about the team I would be working with and the projects I'll be involved in? Certainly. We have a dedicated team of Angular developers who work on various web application projects for our clients. We primarily focus on building enterprise-grade applications using Angular, and you would have the opportunity to work on both new development projects and the enhancement of existing applications. That sounds exciting. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. It was a pleasure speaking with you. We will be in touch with you soon regarding the next steps of the interview process. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you.